What's going on, everyone? Happy Wednesday to everyone. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy. If you had taken a COVID test, hopefully, you have tested negative. If you did test positive, I hope you have a full and speedy recovery with no long COVID issues. It is time now for the Wednesday edition of the Pandemic Update for Wednesday, August 7th, 2024. If you're new to my channel, this is where we do the daily pandemic update on all things COVID and any other virus that could be a health threat to you. Let's face it, there are a lot of different viruses out there. Each of these viruses come with a risk. COVID can go on to long COVID, hospitalization. It can even go on to death. That's right. People are still dying from COVID. We're in a big COVID wave all around the world. Some people want to call it a surge. Some people call it uptick. Spike, as you're about to see in the first article that we'll talk about today. Whatever you want to call it, COVID. It's still out there. You can still get infected. And you can still be impacted by it. Long COVID is still a thing. Like I said, people are still dying. Plus, there are other viruses out there. We talk about them. We talk about new treatments. We talk about new studies that come out. All types of different things to help keep you healthy and safe and in the know with what's going on. Want to be informed? Subscribe down below. Want to help keep other people informed? Well, if you hit that like button down below, it recognizes in the YouTube algorithm that, hey, people like this content. And, of course, if you share this, well, more people will see it. And then if you hit that notification bell, that helps more people see it as well. Because the more people that are notified and watching my videos, the more YouTube's going to say, hmm, your followers seem to be enjoying this content it helped gain it, it traction in the youtube algorithm that's how it works and of course leave your comments down below if you have anything to say all right we do have a few news stories today then we're going to take a look at a bunch of data and i do have some notes today as well which we will take at and just a look at in just a little bit starting off with the new Romania reports a spike in COVID-19 cases. The National Institute of Public Health, INSP, announced that 5,370 COVID-19 cases were recorded between July 29th and August 4th, an increase of 55.8% compared to the previous week. And it does say that they had 13 deaths at this time. So, yes, this is not good to see that Romania is now increasing. All right, something else that's not good. CDC issues new guidelines for RSV vaccines, citing side effect concerns. And not something we want to hear. The CDC has clarified and narrowed its recommendations for which older adults should get an RSV vaccine. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has narrowed its recommendations. And basically what they're saying is it now states that only adults 75 and older, or those ages 60 to 74, who are at high risk, should get the shot. That is partly because the vaccine may slightly increase the risk of a rare side effect that can sometimes lead to paralysis or death. Not a good thing to hear. Of course, this will make it into today's thread on my website, datareport.info. All the news stories today will, and you can read the full thing yourself. If we uh, did the full readings on the video, well, these videos would be very, very long. All right. More than 500 people fell ill with norovirus on a Canary Islands cruise. Yes, remember there was that cruise, I believe it was back in May. Yes, May of 2024. And they're saying the full total number of people that got sick with norovirus on that cruise was 500. And it says here, at the time, p and Cruises said that 0.64% of passengers were symptomatic on Wednesday, uh, May 22nd, but failed to confirm how many suffered at the virus's peak. Well, we now know it was 500. That's a really high number. That's not a good number. In Colorado, theater Aspen canceled three come-from-away shows due to cast COVID cases. Yes, I mean, COVID outbreaks within theater performances, it still happens. I've posted a few of them lately. Alrighty, today I have a treat for you. I was almost going to do a full video on this, but I started thinking, nah, let's just incorporate it into today's pandemic update. And I tweeted on X a glimpse into my YouTube analytics in terms of views. You know, you're probably thinking, well, why would I do that? Believe it or not, there's a really interesting thing that happens with my channel during COVID waves. I can actually see in my analytics when we're entering a wave, when a wave is ending, 
Well, sometimes when a wave is ending, but you get the idea here. The channel started back in 2022. That was also in the middle of the summer of 2022 wave, which that year in some states had many different smaller waves, and each one went up like a staircase. A lot of different things happened there. And at the time, there was also, I believe, was that when MPOX was happening? I forget. It's been a long uh, journey. But anywho, uh, at the time, I tried YouTube Shorts just to help grow the channel to get things rolling. YouTube was still trying to find me in the algorithm. So you can't really use that summer's wave as a guide. But then fast forward, we had a little pause in the channel during the, the winter holidays of 2022. But then come over to summer of 2023. Take a look at this. Summer of 2023 COVID wave. Aha! Look what happened. Boom. People were starting to search I assume they were trying to search on YouTube, and then YouTube was suggesting videos with my pandemic updates, and obviously people were starting to know people that were testing positive, so they said, oh, a video about COVID. Hmm, maybe I need to find out what's going on. So-and-so is sick right now. Well, look what happened here. You can clearly tell when there was that wave, and then you can also tell when that wave ended as we started to head towards fall. You can see it peaked. Then... You can see the winter holidays. Look what happened. We experienced significant growth here on the channel, as, as did the time during that summer. I experienced significant growth during the winter holidays starting around Thanksgiving. You can see right around Thanksgiving, views started going up. Then I had some big uh, view spikes on videos during Christmas time. And really through the first part of the year, then we had that little increase in February. Remember where on our way down, uh, some places tried to rise again before going back down. Well, that was noticeable as well. Then things really started dropping off into the spring because cases were dropping at that time. So my growth, while it was still going up for subscribers, the views dropped a little bit. Then look what happened late spring as we started to enter summer. Kaboom. Yes, you can see right here. Here's late spring in the summer. You can see things really start to take off because people were knowing people who were testing positive. They were starting to say, you know, there's that channel, Data Report. You know, he does these updates every day on the pandemic. Maybe you should, you should watch that to find out what's going on. And look what's been happening. It's noticeable. This summer's wave is big. Yesterday we reported from one of the sources we use on Twitter that we're back to 1 million cases a day. Well, look at this. I mean, for granted, each time a wave peaks, we're higher than the last because, you know, the channel's growing. But you can see right now, clearly, it is continuing. And you can see it was starting to slow off a little bit. And then right around the time, and very interesting, right around the time, KP 3.1.1 came. We had a huge a view spike once again, and here we are. Things are starting to grow again. So really interesting that you notice my highest view periods from, we'll say, about uh, the end, from when I started constantly going day after day after day back in uh, early 2023 have come during these waves. I experienced a new level of growth during each wave. So we'll have to see what happens when this wave finally peaks. Will my views actually drop a little bit? I don't know. We'll just have to see. It's really interesting to follow. I'll keep you posted on that one. All right, UK will update tomorrow. Taking a look at the national allergy map. You can see 42% of the country is in the medium status at this time. And I do believe that, yep, that's correct. And you can see there are some scattered orange on the East Coast. The biggest area of orange, which is medium status, is in the central portions of the United States. Taking a look at air qualities for today. And we do see here, not as bad. A few places along Tennessee, West Virginia, Western Pennsylvania, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana. A few places there. But then you get out to the West Coast and wildfires are still a thing. I'm going to be tweeting about that a little later on, if I get a chance, about the wildfires over on my other X account. I'll show that to you in just a moment. Heat-related illnesses, they're still a thing. They've come down a little bit. And that may continue. It's actually 
slightly below average temperatures for the next few days in the northeast. So we'll have to see what happens with that. Yeah, heat-related illnesses could drop slightly. And here's the next thing I want to show you. Climate Data Report. That's my other X account. It's slowly growing. Maybe we'll hit 600 by this week. Wouldn't that be nice? I'm going to do some tweets there later on. Climate Data Report. All things weather and climate. Philadelphia for EMS incidents on Tuesday. Yeah, high number. 888 EMS incidents. I'm going to tell you this much. It is in the upper 60s here right now. Something that has not happened in a while for this time of day. It is almost 6 o'clock. If we come in with a high level of EMS calls tomorrow for the Wednesday total account of uh, calls, I would be very concerned because things should be coming down now with the heat starting to drop. Last few days, I'll give it to you at that. It was relatively humid. It was relatively hot. But the next few days are going to be cooler. If we still see high levels of EMS calls in Philadelphia, I'm going to be quite concerned. Taking a look at what's going on in Montgomery County, earlier it was very busy. It has slowed down now. Look at this. We're seeing multiple strokes, though. I'm seeing two different strokes, cardiac emergency. That's not a good thing. Chester County. Yikes. Wow. Let's refresh this again. Okay. That's correct. Dead on arrival. We are seeing sick person, another sick person, respiratory difficulty, respiratory difficulty again. If memory serves me correct, there was a dead-on arrival call yesterday during a pandemic update. Uh, wow, Chester County, Pennsylvania, very busy at this time. National positivity rate at Walgreens this week is 40.2%. The prior week was 39.4%. That was up 0.7%. 10,596 tests were reported. And the prior week, 8,132 tests were uh, taken at Walgreens. All right, moving on here. In Canada, the COVID viral activity level is moderate. Flu A, flu B, and RSV is low at this time. Taking a look at the latest COVID variant, and that is the KP 3.1.1 variant that is in the lead at 27.8%. Then KP 0.3 has dropped to 20.1%. LB 0.1 is at 16%. KP 2.3 is at 14.2%. All right, I do have some wastewater sites that I want to show you today. One being west of the Boston area in Massachusetts, Worcester, Massachusetts, is, take a look at this. Now, there's a little wonky movement at the end, but, yeah, it's it's still going up, even corrected. It's starting to go up there again, and this is 250,000 population. There's another place in New England that's starting to go up a little bit more again, and I do believe that was Montpelier. Yeah, Montpelier. It's a little wonky movement at the end, starting to go up. I don't think that was the one. I'm trying to remember. Here it is. I think it is in Essex Junction. Vermont. We'll see here. Yep, that's starting to go up a little bit again. And let's check South Burlington while we're at it as well. Take a look at this. And South Burlington is actually showing signs that maybe they're going to drop soon. But if you take a look here real closely, they don't update as frequently. So that is problematic. Now let's go over to Michigan. I did have one, Mount Pleasant, Michigan, I wanted to look at. And take a look at this. Mount Pleasant, Michigan, you can see here. The Midwest was late to the party when it came to rising. They did rise back in early July, then they dropped a little bit. Now they're starting to rise once again as we head into August. And maybe there's some signs here it's leveling off a little bit. The rise is a little higher than their previous peak back on July 15th. So we'll have to keep our eyes on that. Taking a look at New Jersey for today. New Jersey reported 520 hospitalizations, and in the ICU, 48. That is 67 out of 70 hospitals reporting discharges at this time, 76. And on a ventilator, 11 people are on a ventilator at this time. All right, New York State reported 1,332 cases. They are continuing to drop. It seems to be a rather quick drop with the cases all of a sudden. So we'll have to see what happens there. But remember, this is statewide, and I think it's still safe to say Say that some other parts of upstate or western New York are maybe only in the middle of their wave because we've been watching hospitalizations go up there but today we can't watch much of anything and I'm going to refresh this again now hospitalizations did not update today in New York State I don't know what's going on Friday they missed a day today they miss a day I mean eventually they'll make up for it and it will show up on the chart but for some reason it's just not always showing up all right today I do have some notepad notes for you and that is Wednesday August 7th pandemic update notes and this comes from a great uh, 
commenter that's been posting down below. You know who you are. It's CS. I think the name is Charles. Anywho, thank you so much for adding this. I wanted to share this with you all. Maryland reported this week 2,912 new cases and 19 deaths. Maine added 631 new cases this week, which back in the early days of the pandemic, during a wave, well, that would be sometimes a daily number. But here we are in 2024, where not everyone gets tested. And of course, the at-home test rules the roost. PCR testing is not as much of a thing. That is quite a big number for Maine. Michigan this week, I keep getting asked about Michigan. Here you go. 3,346 new cases and 20 new deaths were added in Michigan. Virginia added 2,500 new cases and 53 new deaths this week. Uh, that's, that's quite a few deaths, if you ask me, for Virginia. And now let's go back to the web browser here and take a look at Virginia a little bit more closely. And we can see here, emergency department visits. Now, I want to explain something real quickly. Remember, a few weeks ago, it looked like as if they had peaked. And I think we're seeing a lot of states do this, where the data you're seeing that's coming out for one week, a couple weeks later, it gets, oh, no, wait a second, the numbers were actually much higher. I mean, remember we were seeing a drop in Virginia's data here, that's been erased and things are continuing up like a staircase. And Virginia right now has had 4,234 emergency department visits and urgent care visits for people diagnosed with COVID, COVID-like illness. Check this out. 8,673 visits as of August 3rd. So you can see here that peak. They corrected that, and the numbers continue to rise. Is there anywhere else that we want to take a look at? Uh, how about Tennessee? Let's see. Let's refresh this. Did Tennessee update today? Uh, I do believe this. Yes, this is Tennessee's COVID dashboard. And it looks like in Tennessee, as of August 3rd, this, again, this could be incomplete data. A lot of times when it's incomplete data, and it does say here, illness that began during this time may not yet be reported, but it would appear as if Tennessee is possibly heading towards a peak for this COVID wave, which would be some really good news at this time. And let's see, what else do we want to take a look at? Washington. I don't think Washington has updated yet, but somewhere that did update. Here we go. Colorado did update for this week, and I had to actually refresh this again because sometimes their data comes in bits and pieces. They'll update this chart, and then several hours later, the rest of the data magically appears. So we just refreshed this, and here we go. Hospitalizations down by three. That's good, but as we know, cases like hospitalizations, or hospitalizations like cases, I should say, but the reason why I just said what I said is because, well, hello, cases are starting to rise again. And we can see emergency department visits diagnosed with COVID is at 1.9%. That's up by 0.1%. The positivity rate did go up again, the 4.3%. Wow. And take a look at this, 23.4%. So the reason why I said uh, in this case, cases are lagging hospitalization is because, well, cases have started rising again. Though cases may have at one point leveled off a little bit, which allowed for a slight drop, it's now going to allow for a potential rise in hospitalizations again. Look at cases, up 195 to 2,483. So we would expect next week they may see another rise for hospitalizations should this case increase continue, which hopefully pretty soon we're going to see a peak there. I mean, there you are, one of the western states. And as we know, the west should be peaking first, as is the south. The south is peaking. I've taken, taken a look at some Florida wastewater sites off camera earlier today. Disney. Guess what? Down in Orlando, you are starting to drop. In fact, real quickly, let's just pull that up. I like to be spontaneous, and let's just give you a little extra piece of data today. Here's Orlando. Here's South Orange County. And check this out. Some really good news. It's rapidly dropping. Now, on the most recent update, it's a little wonky movement upward. We'll have to keep our eyes on that, but for the most part, I think they're going to continue to drop. That could be just a little notch along the way. Maybe a little KP 3.1.1 notch, but for the most part... You are peaking now in Florida. Alrighty, folks, that does it for the Wednesday edition of the Pandemic Update. We'll have another Pandemic Update again tomorrow. If you enjoyed this update, give it a thumbs up. Maybe you like that we gave you a little dive into what my views on this channel tell us when a wave could be gone. I'm telling you, that is really interesting. I've been wanting to do that for a while, and it's becoming more and more clear. When we're in a COVID wave, and more people are trying to find out just what's going on. 
more people are watching the pandemic update and of course the channel has been growing overall and a lot of that is thanks to you guys spreading the word of mouth to other people about these updates i thank you for doing that and i hope you continue doing it subscribe thumbs up notification bell share this with anyone you know and leave your comments down below i'll see you all again tomorrow until i see you again tomorrow stay safe everyone have a fantastic wednesday evening and thanks for watching